How's it going guys? I have been working on this thing non-stop and it is severely annoying. Okay, so um, I cannot get this to work any way that Don presents it. When he puts the ground here, uh, hooked up with both feeds, it, it absolutely does not work. Uh, so, and that's how he promotes his work. And then he goes on to tell you that uh, he didn't tell you all the details. So I personally, in all my experiments, believe the earth ground does not go to the primary midpoint grounding circuit. There's just no way. It does not function in that orientation. Period. I've shown that when you separate this, rectify the one and drive the coil, earth ground the other hot, lead you have spectacular results uh, self tuning blah 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 it works great so this is completely configured as Don's design uh, the three wire NST with the spark gap coming back on the return wire of the uh, pulse coil the primary both wires going in and I put the center tap or the earth ground before the diode on one of those two wires and uh, it works in resonance I'm going to show you that uh, 25 watts it is functioning in resonance there's my oscilloscope you can see there's something on the scope Let me get over here you can see there's a wave there you can barely see it because uh, this garbage really doesn't work properly at all. Anyways, you can see that it's in resonance. If I take the earth ground from my scope probe, you can see that the coil, the secondary coil, is in resonance with the primary coil on all leads. And um, you don't get this any other way. There's two ways you get it. One with the, uh, the ground being connected to the hot side into the earth ground. And the other one with the earth ground being connected where it is here. Other than that, there's no way in hell that primary is going to bring this secondary to resonance in my experiments. And I have gone at this countless hours. A hundred hours in the last week alone. Probably way beyond that. I probably spent several hundred hours with this design uh, to find out that Don's uh, information is deliberately misleading to protect his monetary investment in his device and guess what the guy died before he's ever seen any any return so uh, cover up the secret for what reason <laughs> I guess if you want to die uh, that's uh, Don's life path, you know. Probably if he would have shared it properly, he would have uh, excelled in the most remarkable ways. But no, he chose to hide it for his monetary investment, and he ends up dead. Well, you know, it is what it is. Tesla did the real work a hundred and some years ago, and uh, he's dead and gone too. So, it didn't get any recognition for it, so... <laughs> Anyways, uh, the case and the point is it don't work the way Don says it works. Period. I don't care who you think you are. I've wired this thing so many ways and done literally countless experiments. This is the only way it performs. No capacitor because you don't need a goddamn capacitor. If you went add a capacitor to this, you are, in, you are adding the component of disruptive discharge. We wish to ob obtain resonance between this coil and that coil. Because without resonance, you ain't getting anything for throughput. Just my observations. Anyways, it's in resonance. You can see. And the way that's achieved is where that earth ground is connected here. So uh, the next part of it is the other earth ground connecting to this thing 
through the capacitors, which are the grounding shunt, which is your output. So the earth ground, in my analysis from everything I've looked at, watched countless hours of his work, blah, 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 the earth ground comes into the negative side of the capacitor through the four capacitors that are hooked up as one capacitor and then um, into these, this, into here. And then these get rectified and into the other side of the capacitor. So it comes in the capacitor, goes into the coil, comes out of the coil, goes back into the other plate of the same capacitor. And uh, is it right? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't see much of Don's stuff being quite right to start with, to be honest. He, he disguised and lied about too many things to... Uh, I'm not saying it doesn't work. It most likely does work, but the odds of somebody stumbling across it and making it work are very, very, very slim, especially with the, uh, you know, the half a book he gave you about the device. He didn't give you all the information. He only gave you a little wee piece of it, and it's no wonder nobody has success with these things. And it's no wonder Don died without being rewarded so uh, that's how it goes. All right. So the only way this piece of shit works, it, the way Don's got it wired, is if you put that earth ground on one of those two hot diodes going into the primary. Other than that, forget it. You'll never meet resonance. You'll be trying to tune this to resonance. And, and what good is that? Even when you disruptively dis uh, discharge in resonance, piss poor results to be quite uh, quite uh, honest the only way it may work with the disruptive discharge component in resonance is when these other capacitors and the ground shunt is properly configured and I haven't brought the entire thing together yet because still I don't know how these damn caps are properly wired I don't believe it's just uh, the way he says it is all right, well, there you go, guys. That's the only way I get this thing to work. Ciao.